ओम श्री साईराम नमस्ते आय एम नागरत्ना विनायक जोशी हरिकथा आर्टिस्ट हुबली योंत प्रविश्य मम वाच मीमा प्रसुप्ता संजीवयति अखिलशक्तिधर स्वधा अन्या हस्तचरण श्रवणत्वगादी प्राणा नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्य संकल्प परिकल्पित वस्तु जालम प्रेमर्दशीलमतिमाष दिव्यलील भक्तानुकूल वनवद्य कृपाल बालम श्री सत्य साई नम प्रणतस्म नमस्ते टुडे वील स्टार्ट द सेकेंड सुभाषिता ऑफ युअर सिलबस त्यागो गुणो वित्तवताम वित्तम त्यागवता गुणगा परस्पर वियुक्त वियुक्त वित्तग विडंबना परस्पर वियुक्त वित्तग विडंबना त्यागो वित्तवता वित्तम सैक्रिफाइस जनरासीटी आर् बेनवल philanthropy being altruistic and munificent all these qualities being wealthy but having the nature of donating or doing charity is something different according to our ancestors or elders it has been told that tyago vittavatam kuda the virtue of a wealthy person or a person who has lot of money lot of wealth in whichever way it may be it may be the wealth of education it may be money and it may be skill whatever it is if it is education it has to be taught to others if it is money it has to be donated it has to be given in charity that person should be charitable that person should be benevolent that person should be munificent that person should be altruistic then only that wealth is of any use if a person is wealthy if he do not have generosity then it's of no use so by mere wit virtue a wealthy person should be sacrificing should be generous and then vittam tyagavatam gunaha if a person is generous if a person is sacrificing he is good he is benevolent as i have told he is altruistic he is munificent then he should be possessed with the wealth his quality of sacrificing should be associated with wealth that means he should be blessed with wealth if he has got that ability to donate or give charity it's not an easy thing to to give charity it is not in each and everybody's hands crorepatis will be there arapatis they will not not be having the mood or mind or generous nature to donate they want to give anything to anybody they go on saving money and one day they will die and they will never carry the money along with them even though knowing this truth they are not generous this is the quality we can't help it this subhashita says tyago vittavatam vittam vittam tyagavatam guna tyago guno vittavata means sacrificing must be the nature of the wealthy people charity must be the nature of the wealthy people 
people should be benevolent and meanwhile who sacrifice those people who have got the virtue of sacrificing everything who are generous should be blessed with wealth but alas unfortunately these two things never go hand in hand they are vice versa on the contrary contradicting to this principle these two things are entirely vice versa the one who has the money doesn't want to give and the one who do not have the money wants to give but he don't have either side is of no use krishna says in bhagavad gita datavyam iti yaddanam diyate anupakarine deshe kale cha patre cha taddanam satvikam smruta we should have in mind that we should donate we should do charity and then we should give it to such a person wherein we have never experienced or never expect or never been helped in any way previously deshe kale cha patre cha we should see desha kala patra the time the place and the person's ability to take the donation or the person what he does after taking this donation or charity what he is going to do whether he will use it for the betterment of the world or for any good deeds that also we have to see diyate anupakarane deshe kale cha patre cha तदानम सात्विक स्मृत यु प्रत्युपकारा फलमुद्दिश्य वा पुनः दीयते च परीक्लिष्ट तदानम राजसंस्कृत वी वाट समथिंग फ्रम दट पर्सन दट वै वी आर् डोनेटिंग फलमुद्दिश्य वा पुनः एंड वी आर् नाट गिविंग विथ ए गुड मैंड विद ए हेल्दी मैंड वी आर् वेलदी बट डू नाट हेव ए हेल्दी मैंड वैल गिविंग then it's of no use adesha kale yaddanam apatre pischa diyate asatkrutam avajnatam tat tama samadakrutam there is no desha kala patra we will never see that whether the person is capable of handling the money and whether the time is suitable whether the place is suitable without checking all these things if something is donated that danam is called as tamasa danam so before donating also we have to think about it a lot but unfortunately these two qualities generosity and then being rich being wealthy are possessing lot of money a lot of wealth is not an easy task these two together could make a person renowned in this world throughout the ages if one person has got these two qualities together if he is wealthy and he is generous or we can call as a person is munificent a person is altruistic and the person is benevolent and then definitely that person is going to be renowned remembered throughout the world in the history of this world so let's see a story from mahabharata wherein there is an emperor there was an emperor called shibhi chakravarti who was very generous who was famous for his charity at that moment devendra wants to test him he would book up an eagle and then agni will become a pigeon and that pigeon comes and sits on the lap of shibhi in the asthanam in the court in the assembly of shibhi and asks him oh 
kind king is the pigeon speaks like a human being and asks him oh king please protect me this eagle will slay on me slay me please protect me then that eagle will come over there and ask the king just leave this pigeon away i want to eat it it is my food god has made this food chai eagle is my food you will make definitely you will make a sin by protecting this pigeon so just give me my food back at that moment shri chakravarti says why you want this pigeon i will give you fresh flesh don't worry ask me what do you want are you ready to give whatever i want yeah i want your flesh from your thigh readily shibhi chakravarti agreed and he did cut the pieces of flesh from his thigh and actually the eagle asks it should weigh the same as the pigeon how much the pigeon weighs your flesh should weigh, weigh the same so a weighing balance has been brought and then a pigeon is made to sit on one side and the pieces of flesh taken from tibi shibhi maharaj shibhi chakravarti's the emperor shibhi's thigh and it has been put on the other thing other side of the weighing balance but his flesh would not be suffice or would not be sufficient to weigh as much as the pigeon they are testing no they are devatas they are celestial beings they are just testing shibhi's uh, udarya or generosity so at that moment then shibhi he will never think a minute just what he will do is he will just go and he will sit on the weighing balance see now i am there your pigeon is weighed eat me on a whole see my flesh is fresh but leave this pigeon see this is called as generosity this is called as a kind of charity which is just impossible to think in this world at present age then those the celestial beings indra and agni they will be pleased they will bless shibhi and they will make him as previous and shibhi's name and fame is actually throughout the world is famous for his great deed is renowned all over the world so tyago guno vittavatam vittam tyagavatam gunaha paraspara vyuktau tu vitta tyago vidambana they are contradictory and the contrary these vitta and tyaga they want to go hand in hand they are vice versa but this must be the quality this should be the quality with human beings that the one who is generous should possess with money wealth and the one who is wealthy should be generous and if these qualities go hand in hand these two qualities go hand in hand then that person would be renowned would be famous and unparalleled in this world and get all the name and fame through it thank you very much tyago guno vittavatam vittam tyagavatam gunaga paraspara viyuktau tu vittatyagau vidambana namaste om shri sai ram